if if the leader, especially now when we're trying to develop relationships on a, a one dimensional screen, if you don't know how to engage with people and uncover what truly drives them personally, uh, what their core motivators are, their priorities, their core values, uh, coaching is going to fall flat. Uh, I saw a statistic the other day where I think maybe one out of every 20 managers are actually trained how to coach, forgetting about how to coach remotely. Uh, they're even struggling with that. So it's something where, and I hear it all the time from managers, well, Keith, it's really hard to develop relationships, you know, via computer on a screen. Um, mm -hmm. It's hard to connect with customers. Well, I do not agree with that. Actually, I think it's the antithesis of that. I think it's the opposite because right now I'm in your home. You're in my home. You see my guitar, you know, you see that, you know, piece of art in the back, some pictures over here on the side. We could have a great conversation for probably 40 minutes about music and friends and travel and, and connection, which that's what people want. And we are, we are so still feeling disconnected. The greatest opportunity that I see is to actually reconnect with people on that human level, where if I'm speaking to a customer or a prospect and I'm in their home, well, you know, I'm seeing the dogs running around, the cats running around, you know. They're humans too. They're at their table. They have their t-shirt on. Uh, they're just as, as um, excited about making new and fostering new relationships as we are. So before, you know, say three or four years ago when we were speaking or even five, uh, you know, where we were so focused on the sales process, which again, of course, is essential. What companies really need to realize is what precedes the sales process is the mindset. And the mindset and the new strategy, uh, which might sound redundant, but it's at such a deeper level of sales and leadership is care, you know, mm -hmm. and, and putting that care and connection up front where before, again, selling and having a, an hour meeting, you know, it's five minutes of warm up and, you know, hey, what's going on? And now let's get into the presentation. Now it's 30 minutes of just, hey, what's going on in your world? How are you doing? How is your family? What's been happening in your business? How are people uh, engaging on your end? You know, how are your clients doing? You know, having that deeper level of personal connection to me is what's driving more sales and accelerating the growth of people to help them develop really what we all want is a growth mindset where if we look at the concept of a fixed mindset and to give you an example, um, pre uh, post-pandemic, uh, I saw a statistic where 76% of all companies have changed the way they buy. So procurement, how, you know, decision makers, um, factors that influence the uh, buying decision. Uh, however, only 17% of companies have changed the way they sell. And to me, that bleeds into how managers are still trying to manage the way they managed two, three, four years ago. And if we're still trying to do the same thing and achieve the same results we did using the same processes and mindset that we did three or four years ago, we're already set up for failure.